Hello, lovely people. We have finally made it to season 17, episode 17, which is the final part of the three-part series of the finale of this Sis Drive season. And I just noticed that the episode before this three-part finale, I think it was episode 14, it was called Which Wife is Next, which I'm not going to lie. Who says that? And also, they're genius. Like, that's a good line. Anyway, so we're going to watch this. I'm super nervous. And I've heard that it's a lot more like in depth and there's a lot more going on a little bit more chaotic but anyway we are watching season 17 episode 17. what is your relationship how do you describe your relationship with robin no i'm not going to talk about her i don't understand that at all she's your favorite wife surely you have something good to say about her can we play the clip and then you can react to it sure sure i wonder what's wrong i really have no idea what's going here i fell in love with you because i thought you were treating people great and then you started treating people badly i think he has a favorite wife Ooh, and robin watching her reaction smart getting her reaction on this and apparently i'm not treating her well enough oh i see you being this amazing husband this i just is don't the know what i did that you've been putting in plural marriage for what 12 years what did i do wrong that you wouldn't help me oh god i don't like watching this at all pretty sure this is the first episode and i was having a hard time watching it you know this isn't a new complaint i'm not getting some preferential treatment even though that's what they think cody and i have a good relationship it works for me but it doesn't look like robin's relationship with him i i I mean, if it was the situation was reversed, would you be acting this defensive about me? Period. I love that line. I have somebody in my life who is fundamentally loyal to me. Fundamentally loyal. Something I discovered when we were in Vegas was that Christine wasn't ever happy unless she was getting more than everybody else. <laughs> but when she looks at you and Robin with envy, with jealousy. Does that make me or Robin bad? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop where you are okay. going. Who's interviewing who? Christine watches me and Robin. Mm -hmm. Robin watched me and Christine. That's the danger of polygamy. But you can see where Christine is coming from if she is saying, I want that connection. Then she has to have the energy, effort. It goes both ways. She tried so hard. Is Robin the favorite wife? Thank you. You know, that's the most unfair question because you don't have any idea what she has done as a person. So it's basically a yes, which is valid. He's allowed to have a favorite, but like, also he shouldn't. It's not about a favorite. It's about finding favor. Finding favor. Mary, Janelle, and Christine have talked me from the beginning of all of our marriages. That's part of a loving relationship. Can I just say she doesn't deserve that? Yeah. Janelle, she's so loyal to him, it's ridiculous. She was. And so was Mary. For years, that woman was so loyal. It's like clearly he's in choosing to be blind. Okay, loyal, kiss the ring, and then we'll be good. Stop it, Janelle. I thought I'd been loyal, and I thought Christine had been loyal. Yeah, they were all good. Do you believe that Robin is the favorite wife? He has been disproportionate in the amount of time that he spends there. That's a really nice answer. Do you think she's sharing or helping or trying to help bring everybody together? I think she's saying that she's trying to bring everybody together. Everybody's mixed, right? And I don't always think she's this perfect paragon of, I'm going to make the family be great. Oh, God. She really said, make Sister Wives great again. Do you believe that Robin is the favorite wife? Robin is the one that he is most comfortable with. They're all so polite about their answers. I mean, it's not always exactly exactly equal did cody make it apparent that robin was the favorite so i felt it okay. i felt like it was apparent from, from the beginning all of their answers are so polite because i'm not blind and i'm also not stupid i think they found each other and they found soulmates in each other she's so much nicer than i would have been yeah i didn't know what a soulmate looked like i didn't know that there could be more in a marriage that's so sad can't relate. So do you feel like Christine's optics are just based on the last couple of years? I mean, she made that happen. They handed him to me. We don't want to spend time with him, basically. He wasn't feeling like he could go over there because of his personal beliefs. I feel like she's trying to say that she doesn't want him. Christine felt like you guys were a unit from the very beginning, that you guys are soulmates. <laughs> They were so cute. They were so sweet. Things I don't even have with Cody. And what you're seeing is years of people not taking care of their relationships. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, but if you're rejecting someone's affection, your spouse, I don't see how that's going to help your relationship. When I came into this family, 
I knew and I saw that when I have so many thoughts, there's stretch marks and there's weight gain and there's like there's fights or there's money problems or whatever it is. He still had this romance going with each of them. Which are those stretch marks? They each have something with him that I do not have. History, definitely. He and my mom were definitely like besties for a long time, but they don't have the kind of romance Robin has with my dad. Or not romance, but like mutual love and attraction to each other. And I don't know if it's mutual from her standpoint, because the more I'm watching, the more I'm like, oh, she looks like she's trying to like slip away. And I don't know if that's just me like assuming or surmising some sort of story, but that's what it seems to me that it's just that she has the romance with him where they don't. You're acting like you're not even culpable in this situation. For not respecting. For not having any respect for me. Somebody said I have the same haircut as him and I'm like, I just wanna point out, I'm not balding, okay? I just can't cut bangs. And I shouldn't have. That's not true. Okay. That's a blatant <laughs> lie. <laughs> Why is he smiling? That's a blatant <laughs> lie. <laughs> you know what, everybody put this on me. No. And then when I finally get sick from COVID, no, no. that was, was like a death lag experience. experience. <sighs> Only what? What was it, okay, three weeks this ago? This is the same old, same old. Ugh, I cannot believe. So, you know, this is a really bad idea for you to walk off. Can we keep talking, please? I have a little bit of time left. You told me. They, they cut out the best part. That the boys were not welcome until they apologized to everybody. You've had a lot of rejection over the last year and a half, Cody. And so have like all of his kids. And that's hard. Janelle rolling her eyes is adorable. She's like, why'd you make that face? Because I get so tired of Counselor Robin. Oh yeah, your pain, your pain. He acts like he's the only person who's been rejected. Did Gabe and Garrison have to call and apologize not only to Cody, but also to Robin? That was really what was the first ultimatum. But then he changed his mind, but then he changed his mind back. But he's not only made any effort. He mm -hmm. still is acting like they need to come to him. Why'd you say, Janelle, this is a bad idea for you to walk away? Because I was, I was at the point, I was at the breaking point that I was like, you walk away and this is over. Oh. She could have been out so easily. The fact that she was with Christine vacationing while I was suffering through COVID. Yeah, there's people that are dying. He did the same thing. Like, why is it Janelle's fault? She never fault? teamed with me. I, I'm not blaming her as far yeah. as fault. Took my side to say, boys. But that is kind of blaming. No, no. Either you, you, you're with me or or you're with your children. And it, that is an awful why place is to put a so mom. Because if one of my little children were to die because somebody had to get his pencil wet, that made me so mad. Mm -hmm. And now with those two boys, I'm estranged from them. I can't even have conversations with them anymore. And that disappoints you? Oh, yeah, that's very Hurts sad. you deeply? Yeah, boys, I'm sorry. Oh. I was trying to protect my family. I didn't hate that. He has a tendency to say I'm sorry a lot, which is, like, kind of brave of him. Because as a family, we don't really say sorry or apologize. And this is new from him. He apologizes a lot now. It's wild to see. Janelle came into this relationship idealistically and got shattered by the experience in plural marriage. Well, let's take a look at what she has to say. I've gone through this whole year and I feel like I'm, I haven't been respected. Oh God, the lemons. If he can't handle my independence, then I don't know if this works for me anymore. It's really giving which wife is next. There might be a reason why Christine left is because she was juxtaposing her relationship against another. I'm like, that's not happening anymore. That I'm... I think you're not vulnerable enough in that. Vulnerable? Yeah. Like, I, why can't you Christine look at her? Christine just left and Janelle is chasing her. I just spent two years being disrespected. Oh my God. I'm done with the respect. Do you feel that Janelle has disrespected you in any way? He went about the whole COVID thing, like, completely terribly. She doesn't respect me. Why doesn't she respect you? Uh, good. She shouldn't. We've been separated for several months. What? And I'm happy. What? Finally. Yes. The grit. I just didn't care. She's like, yeah, no, I haven't missed you much. I don't, I won't go to a place where I'm not respected because love doesn't matter to me. Respect matters to me. That's such a mess. She just wants a good dad for her kids. If you could reconcile with the kids, would that change the outcome of this marriage together? Maybe. I could see. I could see it. Yeah. But you have to understand, okay, this is how plural marriage is a real struggle. Relationship with a wife, deep trust, and did the right things. Robin, two adults, ages of Garrison and Gabriel, COVID be out of the home. I don't know if I'm processing anything he's saying. That right there is just an expression of how respect was given. 
Okay. I don't really know if I processed anything he just said. I was facing a situation where I did not have housing. I'm also facing a situation where I have been hoping to get out on the property and build for years. And the crazy thing is she had the potential for housing and she had the like resources for it. And they just didn't let it happen. Well, do you think if Robin didn't have this house? Yes. If I was prioritized, we would have figured out how to pay off the line and I would be in a house. Janelle's a real doer. I'm not choosing it. I didn't make these choices. They did. But for some reason, they see you with a functioning relationship. Did they not see the fights? Did they not see the arguments? Because I don't air that. You had mentioned that you don't let just let Cody walk out. But Cody oh. walks out on a lot of the women yes. when he's in the middle of an argument. I, they're not looking at it and going, oh, in my marriage, I'm going to treat my this person like my best customer. I just, I'm communicating. Oh, no. She's getting emotional. I'm tired of being punished for it. It's valid to be like tired of being punished for trying to communicate, but the way she communicates is like, if you guys aren't going to be nice to me, then I don't want to be part of your family. So, I don't know. I'm tired of feeling bad that I have a good relationship with Cody when other people don't. That's on them. They need to figure that out. Okay, but she does agree that she has a better relationship with him. And I think that's a really good step into like understanding. Do you think you could ever get back? I wasn't I wasn't heartbroken. It wasn't heartbreaking for me like it was for Christine. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of like I just mourned that she's so real for that. That life was gone. In about three months, we have been we will have been married 30 years. Would you call him up on the 30th anniversary and say, let's go out, let's have dinner? Um, well, he blew off my our last anniversary. Like he just didn't call me or anything. He didn't call, he didn't acknowledge Christmas, nothing. What? And then he blew off our anniversary. He blew off their anniversary. That sucks. Wow. I know I'm happy. I don't want him to come back. But my faith requires that we are married eternally. I think Janelle, like the kind of person she is, she really doesn't need romance. She's like so perfectly independent. It's magical. And I think that honestly, at this point, since she's technically separated, um, I'm excited for them to call it divorce. If they do call it divorce. I, I want to see, like, her just go out and be independent. Where does that put Janelle if he has his true life partner, like you said? It's very unfair to marry in Janelle for me to feel the way I feel about Cody and plural marriage, that I feel like he doesn't have the capacity for plural marriage. Mm. I'm right on the verge of not even being a polygamist, and that's been part of my identity. What's wacky is he's not on the verge anymore. The majority of his life, it looked like he was polygamous, and now he's monogamous. That must be so weird. How about you? You've been in this for a very, very long yeah. time. Are you going to stay in it? She's the longest standing. Until Cody realizes what he has in you? I, I don't think Cody realizes the <laughs> that I am. Period. And if he hasn't realized it so far, maybe he never will. Do you wait? I don't know. It's for me to decide. He's decided. She handled that pretty well. I would be crying at that point. I'd be like, it was for him to decide, I guess. I don't see them looking for another wife after this. Robin has always wanted a big plural family. Is there room for anybody else, really? Do you think Cody would ever think about bringing on another sister wife? I don't know. He has, he's basically said no. But Robin seems to want that. Because you said you signed up for a plural marriage. Yeah. And that's something that you want. Yeah. Can you see yourself asking him, like, let's try this? Or staying with him? I can. I'm scared of it. She wants it. <gasps> because of how badly this has gone. That's really, really hard for me. It feels disrespectful. God, respect is such a boring word now. Could you see yourself living a monogamous life with Cody? <sighs> Think this way. I, I've really, really struggled with it. I don't know what to do with it. It's messing with my identity. It's not the future I wanted. So my question is, is she going to leave him? I think that was a solid finale. I don't feel like they left anything like unsaid or anything. I've heard people say that they like don't like Suki and they have some issues with her and I don't remember what those issues are but they're I mean they're probably valid because issues are valid but when I when, when I see the parents talking to Suki it feels like they're just like gossiping and like in a good way like she's a pretty good interviewer and she and Janelle at one point were like scooting closer to each other and be like oh my god oh my god and stuff and I think she's like a pretty decent interviewer I don't really understand the complaints that I've heard around her because like what I'm seeing is it's impressive and she knows what she's doing. She gets information out of people and she doesn't do it in an aggressive way. Because also at one point my dad was like, I don't want to talk about my relationship with Robin, which also makes no sense. Because I really don't know how to like think about that. Because why wouldn't he, you know? Anyway, when he was like that, she was like, okay, okay. Do you want to like maybe talk about it if we see this clip? Like she doesn't push. She's solid.
it was it was a really well done interview um and she like was doing a good job at seeing both sides at one point she did get a little biased which was like so valid because like how do you not get biased what oh when they were talking about fault and my dad was like oh well I could see me having a fault or blah 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 or something and she was like so you agree that it's your fault or something like that and while that was a little aggressive it's also like it's a it's a it's a, like a statement it's a valid statement and it in a way it is his fault and a lot of the time I saw Robin being like oh the other wives were like pushing Cody onto me and I didn't want that I wanted the whole family and I wanted them and I don't want him which I mean do we see a divorce in the future um this is so weird to talk about because this is literally my parents at one point I was watching it and I was like looking at my mom and I was like that's my mom like I just saw her the other day you know, it's whack. It's so whack to me. So anyway, Robin was talking about how she, the wives, like, decided to push Cody onto her and it was the wives' choice. But the way that I saw it and the way that all the other women in this were talking about it, like Mary, Janelle, and my mom, they're like, he chose her. And the way that Robin's seeing it is that all three of them, like, threw him away, basically. And Mary is pretty unbiased. Janelle is incredibly loyal. My mom, I think, is the most biased in this situation. She's the most frustrated with it. And Mary and Janelle are like, yeah, I mean, he's a good person, blah, blah, blah. But also, yeah, he did choose Robin. Like, you can tell that they're not specifically aggressive about it. And they're not like, he's this terrible person. And they don't seem as biased as Janelle, as my mom does. Watching that season 17, episode one, like the little clip from the very first episode, I remember now um, that I never posted that and I had to get a new laptop and all of the data on my last laptop is completely lost so I don't have that reaction. But when I was watching it, I was like crying and I was like, it was it was awful to watch them. Like, he's like, yeah, you're blaming blah, blah. And she's like, no, I'm not blah, blah, blah. Um, it, was, it was really painful to watch that clip again, and, like be back in that mindset of like, I'm watching my parents fight like such a hard thing to watch. I think I might redo the reaction to that one and then post that if anybody wants it. When my dad said to, when he was like, if you walk out of here, it'll be a really bad look or blah, blah, blah. And he was like, if he was explaining to Suki, he said, if you walk out, then we're basically over and we're not together anymore. I find that very hypocritical because he tends to walk out on the other moms when he gets upset. Um, and the only example I can think of is when he was having that argument with my mom and where Janelle was kind of backing her up and he just like, ran out of there and then he's like standing by the truck and like looking at the camera like I'm very upset you know like maybe it's not hypocritical at all because he was basically saying we're over in the in that he walked away and I'm pretty sure that's the last time they had like a conversation about it off the top of my head so maybe it's just that he does if you walk out to him it's just over I guess I saw that a bit and I'm curious to see what Suki meant when she said you have a tendency of walking out on all the wives and he agreed with that. I wonder if he's walked out on Janelle or if he's walked out on Mary or even if he's walked out on Robin. Because at this point, like the more that I watch the show, the more I'm like, is Robin gonna stay with him? You know, because her whole goal, well, what she said her whole goal was when you watch the show, sometimes you're like, oh, it seems like she just wants him. But her, she says that what she wanted was the family and that she wanted us all to be together from day one. And here he is, no longer with these other three women and his other 17, 16, 15, 14. Because Robin has five. There's so much math. It's terrible. I love it. With these other 13 children, she just lost that. Oh my god, at one point. Janelle and my dad like talk about the relationship and Janelle was like yeah I love him and my dad was like yeah I love her and I'm like do you do you love each other because like you're separated and Janelle seems very content with not having this beautiful romantic loving relationship with him and she says that and then he's all he, at one point he also said I value respect more than I value love which hurt my feelings a little bit it feels like a very heartless thing to say so I didn't love that I didn't respect it either <laughs> Also, at one point, Robin was talking about how all of the other wives had something with my dad that she didn't have. And she was like, I, I don't know if she said she felt like jealous or that she wanted that. But like, I, I get that. And I get that she wants this like friendship with him. But it makes me think like, if he can't have this best friend relationship that he had, like with my mom, for example, with Robin, in his mind, does he see 
romance and friendship as something completely separate like you know like is it is it like you have this lover or you have this friend and if they combine then either you are no longer attracted to them because you see them as like an equal and then with the friendship if you start to see them romantically you're like they're lesser than me and they respect me and I am the patriarch you know Maybe that's the way he's starting to view it, which is whack for sure. But I totally could just be like, whatever, what's the word? Assuming this big grand story. But you know, it's definitely, it's definitely a theory. When I watch the show, sometimes I forget that I'm, I'm, I'm like one of these people. I like watch it and I'm like, oh my God, Janelle, you're so funny. And then I'm like, oh, Janelle, that's my mom, you know? I'm like, oh, Christine, you're so right. What a valid point. I was like, that woman birthed me. She raised me. It's a whack thought to think about. Like, I've become like, when I watch it, I'm like this completely separate person, which is probably not a good idea because when you're watching a show and you see these people as like people on TV, you start to see them less human and more as entertainment. And that's not a good way to think about my parents. I think the whole dream of reuniting the family is so lovely and so cute but at this point I'm not sure if Robin can be reunited with it because like reunite as in like we all live far apart and it would be awesome to have a big Christmas together again but with Robin she's like made it very clear that she no longer sees herself like as a part of the family but I'm not sure if she'll allow that to happen with her kids. So you may have noticed we have a habit as a family of not sharing our feelings and thoughts and emotions with each other and we just tend to bubble them up until we get on that interview couch that and we just start like throwing all of the information that they ask and just expressing every single tiny detail with each other. Even earlier when Mary was talking about how my dad was blowing up at my mom at I think it was like the last like adult parent family meeting and he was like wasted and stuff and she was expressing she was like this was a long time coming that was real that was like things and she like or it was a way of her proving that we really just do bubble stuff up which um is probably not great and i feel like the interviewer if she'd have noticed that she maybe could have talked about that and i because i think that would be a great step into resolving these issues the family has with like not being connected and stuff like instead of bubbling just go straight to each other and be like I have this issue because a lot of like the reason that we're, we're all separated because we just we don't talk we don't talk to each other we don't express when, when there's a fault and honestly that's something McKelty like randomly is really good at like if there's an issue should we like there's an issue and I think she's one of the very few people in our family that doesn't just bubble it up and hold it back and I think that's something that we could all learn to do um but good luck to everybody and love and beautiful and blessings so let's get into the questions. The questions from my patrons. We first have Trish Slattery. This is a hard season to watch and the tell all seems quite disingenuous from Cody and Robin. Christine and Janelle were open and honest. What did you think of Cody's refusal to answer the question? Is Robin your favorite wife? But it's obvious that she and her kids are his number one. Um, I really don't know. It makes me feel like there are a lot of like variables, like somebody's whispering in his ear or something. But when I really like think about it, it could just be that he doesn't want to add fuel to this fire that people believe or people know that Robin is the favorite. Because when w at the moment I was like, why, why aren't you talking about like all the things you say to me? Because when I ever have an issue with Robin, he's like, don't ever disrespect Robin again. She's this perfect, magical, beautiful, wonderful being. But in the moment he was like, I don't want to talk about that. And I think it's just because he didn't want people to solidify their beliefs that she's the favorite. Um, Liz says, are you thinking of having any of your brothers walk you down the aisle? And then Kat comments, I think Logan or Hunter as a wedding escort would be awesome. Um, I was thinking of just walking myself down the aisle, but like now that I'm actually thinking about it, that's actually kind of adorable. Um, so I'm definitely going to consider it that because that's so cute having my brother. And as a kid, I always like when we went to dances with like father daughter, all of the girls would choose my dad. And I had a tendency of choosing Logan to represent like as my father because I was like, I want to I, I want my little special moment. And so that would actually be so cute. Chrissy Powell says when Janelle talks about being tired of counselor Robin in this episode, a lot of us watching really related. It seems as though she's very good at saying all the right things in many situations, but her actions contradict them. Is that something you've seen as well? Yes, so much, and so often. Um, my dad and my mom actually have both expressed this before, that she's like this perfect person to talk to if you have any like 
things that you need to go through. And she also states that she wants us to be this huge, big family, happy family. But like, in my experience, that's not true. And she doesn't feel like this perfect person to talk through your emotions. And when she says that she is, and she claims that like, it's going to be like this little one on one, it just it feels at the risk of sounding like I'm accusing her of being a bad person. It feels manipulative to me. So Laura says it looked like Cody was planning to let Mary hang on to their spiritual marriage forever, even though they were estranged. But then Christine divorced Cody. It seemed to inspire Cody to permanently cut Mary loose. Why do you think that is? So at one point, it was pretty recent. Robin was talking about how my dad was going through like an all I hate women phase. And he was like doing it to his wives as well. You might remember she was like crying and she was like, she's doing it to you guys. She's doing it to me or he's doing it to you guys. Um, and I think that's really what it was. He, he was just like, I'm just tired. I don't want this anymore. I'm, and it was like in a very, I hate women manner. He just pushed her to the side basically and really underlined the point that he was no longer interested in her. So Laura again says, did your parents make a mistake trying to live as a plural family in areas like Las Vegas and Flagstaff? They didn't have fellowship with their own, with other polygamous families. The Dargers have been public with their own 2011 book and TV appearances and have lived happily in Utah where there are tons of other polygamists to hang out with. Choosing Las Vegas, in my opinion, as a fundamentalist Mormon family was such a weird decision because it's Las Vegas, you know, it's Sin City. It's so wild and off topic. If you go to Las Vegas, like, I don't mean to, like, be mean to people, but the M Mormon community in Las Vegas is evil. They're scary, and they're, like, so entitled, and, like, I was, I was, like, I felt like I wasn't Mormon enough for them. It was a terrible experience, but, yeah, Las Vegas, such a weird choice to make. Utah seems, like, really weird to me, because I don't know how the Dargers are still living there comfortably with, like, not being gotten rid of yet, because police were actually coming to our door when I was a kid, I mean, like, you have to leave you, like, we're going to take your dad to prison and stuff and blah, blah, blah. I don't know how the Dargers are doing so well. But also, like, once again, why Las Vegas? You know, why not somewhere conservative and more Mormon, like Montana or Wyoming or something? Which, like, I'm glad that we didn't because that sounds terrible. But, you know, logistically, that would have probably worked better. and would have probably kept us silent, too. Because there's no way I would have had this, like, vocal personality if I were living in but fuck nowhere, Wyoming. So it was just a weird decision to me. Um, and I don't know, but I'm glad. So Kelly says, when you rewatch season 16 and see how Robin talks to her kids and about their other siblings and moms, I think I have a clue about the why they don't talk so much anymore. Yeah, I'm interested. On to my question though, it appears that your dad mainly communicates with his children through their mothers, even after they become adults and move out. Do you find that to be the case or does your dad contact you and your siblings directly more often than it seems on the show? So off camera, that's not really the case at all. Um, and I'm not sure it's much the case on camera either, but when my dad like talks to me or talks to my siblings, he doesn't go through my mom. He'll like text us or whatever. Um, I think at this point we might start doing it. Like we might prefer him to go through our parents because we don't tend to like the way he talks to us. Liz says, do you think Cody's rage in season 17 stems to the realization that he's not the boss man of the family anymore? Despite the fact his religion declares that wives and kids must obey the father, the priesthood head of the family. So very much. At one point, basically, he was talking about like, I want to be the head of the family, the household again, the patriarchal head, and we're going to go back to patriarchy. And you could like see Robin like making faces like, we're not going to do that. And I think that, yes, he like made it pretty clear to us too that he was kind of upset at not being the head of the family, which I find ironic because if you have four other people at your same level and even closer to your kids than you are, that's not, that's not going to happen. Like logically it makes no sense. But yeah, I could totally see that that's why he was very upset with it. Um, okay. Those are all of the big questions, big thoughts that I had. Um, this is the very last episode of this season. It was, it was pretty good actually. I enjoyed it. Like but we're getting into stuff, some nitty gritty, which I really enjoyed. Once again, I think Suki is a pretty decent interviewer. Um, if you have different opinions up, please express them to me. I would love to see like a different side of this opinion or if any of my questions, the way that I answered them, you're like, I have a different thought about that answer. Please share them with me. I would love to think about the different intricacies or the different thoughts behind it or opposing views as well. Um, I'm going to be going to season 17 or season one, episode one set from this, and I'll be doing some more lifestyle stuff because I want to, you know, start exploring now that I'm an 
adult and can do stuff like that. Um, thank you so much for watching this with me. It was pretty good, once again. Um, please subscribe if this is the kind of content you enjoy or if you'd like to see more of the content that I'll have coming out. Please like, please comment once again with all of these opinions you might have about it or maybe just like to say hello. I love that. I love seeing little messages and like, hi. And yes, I will see you all for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Goodbye.